Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. In this video we are going to solve the problem for this building you can reach. This is the problem number 3 of Lead Code Weekly Contest 213. The problem description is you are given an integer array height representing the heights of a building and some bricks and some ladders. You start your journey from zero building and move to the next building by possibly using bricks or ladders. While moving from the building I to the building I plus 1 if the current building height is greater than or equal to the next building height, you can directly go to that building. If the current building height is less than the next building height, then you will have to use one ladder or you will have to use height of the next building minus height of the current building number of bricks. Now you have to return the furthest building that you can reach starting from the zeroth building. So we can see this with the help of an example. So here we have the diagram. Now what we can conclude, we have to use one ladder to climb any height. So we can use one ladder to climb any height and we have to use the h of i plus 1 minus h of i number of bricks. So our ladders are more powerful, they can climb any height. So we need to save ladders to climb the tall buildings. So we can start from the beginning we can see that can we reach from this position to this position using a certain amount of bricks because we are saving our ladders we are not going to use ladders now we'll be using bricks if we have that many bricks and let us say if we reach this position using certain amount of bricks we simply jump to this position and we simply jump to this position now climbing from here to here we will again check if we have sufficient amount of bricks to climb from this position to this position and if we have that many bricks we will simply climb here using that many number of bricks now let us say if we want to climb at this position and we are not having sufficient amount of bricks with us so we can use a ladder to climb to this position and we can move forward so we reach till the end now let us say we have another building and this building is just a bit taller than this current building so we want to reach here but we don't have sufficient amount of bricks so we want to use ladder here and let us draw a few more buildings ahead of this so this is one more building ahead of this which is slightly taller than this and we have another building which is again slightly taller than this so these are the buildings that we have now we don't have sufficient bricks to go from this building to this building but we have ladders so we can use a ladder here but don't you think it would have been beneficial if we would have used the ladder here instead of using it here because this height is very small and this height is very large so we should use ladders where the difference of height is very large so we want to go back at this position and we want to regain these bricks back and use a ladder instead so that we can use the bricks further to climb these buildings so we had only one ladder left with us and that ladder we could use that ladder here but then we will have zero bricks left so we will end our journey at this position but in the past we have used a large number of bricks to climb at this position so we can go to the past we can use the ladder here we can regain these many bricks and we can use those bricks to climb till the end so whenever we have sufficient amount of bricks to climb a certain building we will be using bricks but if we don't have bricks we will be using a ladder but before using the ladder we will see in the past that what is the maximum amount of bricks that we have used to climb from one building to another building and let us say if that amount is x so if x is the amount of bricks that we have used to climb from one building to another building and the difference of the current building and the next building is y and if this x is greater than y then we are going to regain this x we are going to collect these many bricks back and we are going to use a ladder instead of this and here we will be using the y amount of bricks out of the x that we regained so that we can save x minus y bricks for future use so how can we implement it when we are climbing from one building to another building using a ladder then we have to check in the past that what is the maximum amount of bricks that we have used to climb from one building to another building so we can do this using priority queue a max heap priority queue let us see the implementation of the same using priority queue so
so we are starting with i is equal to 0 from the 0th building and we will be going till the end if we can reach till the end so this is v this is b this is l i i is smaller than v dot size i plus plus let us create a priority queue queue now if so let us make this v dot size minus 1 so if v of i plus 1 minus v of i first of all if the next building is smaller than or equal to the current building then we can simply go to that building without using anything so continue otherwise the difference d will be equal to v of i plus 1 minus v of i so this is the difference if this difference d is smaller than or equal to the number of bricks which are left with us and it is denoted by b then we can use the bricks to climb from this building to another building so b minus equal to v of i plus 1 minus v of i we are using these many bricks to climb and that is why we are reducing the amount of the bricks which are left with us and we have to insert these bricks into the priority queue so q dot push this difference d so we can write the difference instead of this if we don't have sufficient bricks and we have the ladders greater than 0 then what we can do is we can use this ladder but before using this ladder here we have to check that in the past what is the maximum amount of bricks that we have used so that is int x is equal to q dot top if this x is greater than the current difference then what we are going to do is we are going to regain this x back so b plus equal to x we are going to pop this we are going to pop this from the priority queue we are going to push d into the priority queue because we are using d number of bricks at this particular position and we are going to reduce the amount of bricks that we have by d and the ladder will be used either at this position so if this is the case the ladder will be used at the previous position otherwise the ladder will be used at this position so in both of the cases ladder is being used so that's why ladder minus minus otherwise if both of these conditions doesn't satisfy then we have to break out of this and after that we have to return i where i is the position let us try to run this we are getting correct answer for this test case let us submit this runtime error ok because when we are popping we should check that if the size of priority queue is not 0 so if q dot size then we will be checking this condition let us run this for this test case it is working fine now let's talk about the space and the time complexity in the first case we can use big O of n extra space to insert all of these values in the priority queue and and the time complexity to insert n elements into the priority queue is n log n so the time complexity of this solution becomes n log n in worst case so this is it for the solution I will be uploading solutions to more problems from this contest so please watch them as well 
If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Soon we'll be uploading a series on dynamic programming starting from 1D DP, 2D DP, grid based DP and advanced topics like digit DP, SOS DP. So please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification to our latest videos. Thank you.